Well, out in the yard, leaves are falling. One for those damn dogs over there barking. Be a pretty uh, picturesque scene. Yeah, leaves are still changing here. Some are changing faster than others. A lot of yellows. There's some oranges. I got one tree over here that uh, I managed to save when I was doing my Mega Shed project. My ex-friend wanted me to cut it down and I was hesitant. I was like, nah, it's not going to be in the way. But, yeah, Yachty liked this tree. So, I left it. She want me to get some uh, video, video of the leaves. Yeah, it won't be long. My maples will start changing here pretty soon. And when they do, boy, the, the leaves are going to just start falling like crazy. Uh, yeah, today's our last 80 degree day, it looks like. Cool temperatures are moving in tomorrow. Don't look like we're going to get any rain. We are back in drought conditions. And, uh, yeah, I talked to my parents. Lake level is really low. Their dock is not too far from resting on the bottom of the lake, which is weird. A month ago was the last time we've gotten rain. That was from Hurricane Matthew. I wasn't here for it, but got around three inches of rain, but you get nothing in a month. That three inches disappears quick. So, yeah, talked to Yachty the other night by Skype. She's doing good. Yeah, old Dr. Crush set me up with uh, Skype on his uh, Microsoft Surface tablet. So, yeah, of course the internet down there is not great. You all know that if you follow my channel. <laughs> Dropped the call like three times because the internet kept cutting out or couldn't handle the signal or I don't know, just the connection was not good. But yeah, a few more leaves falling. Yachty would love watching this. Yeah, she wanted to see her plants. I'll be moving those up on the deck. Pretty much got the small ones up there. Once it gets a little bit colder, I'll have to bring them in. Of course, I'll bring them in for the time that I'm in Mexico. Load them up with water and hope they survive, and usually they do. I'll usually put them in buckets, or I'll transplant the ones, you know, in buckets that don't fit, like those green ones. Put water in them, and, uh, yeah. Her elephant ears are still doing good. That's the, That's a funny thing. I've had to water it twice now. They start drooping, you know, it needs water. Uh, there's a plane. Loud Cessna, I think. Yeah, living near a small airport, the Charlotte Airport, you get a lot of airplane traffic flying around here. Living in the city, you don't get a lot of peace and quiet. And there's some of her azaleas in bloom. Yeah, 
all these plants we planted oh wow throughout the 2000s into the 2010s we just let them grow I don't really prune them I just let them grow wild you know we'd have a bigger yard I'm sure if I did prune them but yeah all these are her plants a lot of gardenias azaleas pines some wild trees that were here of course they were cut down back well, we had some of the crazy neighbors before I put this privacy fence up. They cut pretty much everything down where you could see right into my yard. I didn't like that at all. So that's why I had the privacy fence put up. I had chain link here, but yeah, they cut everything down. And once they did that, I just took the chain link down, put the privacy fence up to re basically regain my property because it was kind of zigzagged anyway going around the wild brush and stuff. So, but yeah. We pretty much let the, the garden grow. Yeah, this is my wife's favorite basket with rose bushes. The iguana that came from Iguala pretty much faded now. It looks like the squirrel's been gnawing on it. I guess they use it to sharp, sharpen their teeth. And some other debris, other plants. Had some plants over here, they didn't last. Got a couple gardenias she wanted to put by my workshop. <laughs> so, there they are. Yeah. Yeah. Just a quiet morning. I said last, last 80 degree day before it gets chillier. It won't be too bad. I mean, it's going to be in the 60s and temperatures in the low 40s, maybe near upper 30s. So, uh, that crap to clean up, I'll have to do that next year. I'm just not in the mood. Springtime comes, I'll worry about that. And again, a lot of that's my wife's stuff too. She's hesitant to want me to move her stuff. I mean, a lot of it I've already got put in these green bins, and that's about as far as I can go. But, uh, yeah. Aloe's doing good. It is just growing like crazy since I transplanted it. What? A couple years ago? A year and a half ago, maybe? So, that's always fun trying to move it in. I got this little wheel dolly thing for a trash can. I was going to set this on, but that centerpiece, it needs to be bigger because it's a bigger pot. And I don't want it to break the underside where dirt and stuff starts leaking out and all that. So, I don't know. I'm just going to load it up with water and, again, hope it survives for the six and a half weeks that I'll be gone. The end of November to the middle of January. So, yeah. Keeping her plants alive. And here's some more of her plants in the front yard. Rose bushes. More azaleas. Everything's kind of overgrown. Mimosa trees try to make a comeback, but it's not going to make it. Probably trim those little twigs before I go. More azaleas. Yep. All these we planted not long after we had the concrete done. We had this done in 2006 when we concreted the driveway. You can see that video in my stone and concrete projects playlist if you're interested. Yeah, and then we started putting up plants along the edge. Yeah. Ivy just grows natural around here. I haven't put anything in here. We talked about it, just haven't done it yet. Well, that bag of trash still there.
Well, looks like somebody's next door to Van. Yeah. Well, they got grass put down. It looks nice. More plants that are just buried over here. Azalea, gardenia, pine. Another pine. Hmm. Yeah, light post. <sighs> yep. Yeah, she wants to come home. She misses all the plants, the fall, sweeping the leaves. The big oak. Yeah, so I'm doing this for for Yachty so she can see that uh, everything's status quo until she gets home. Yeah, so like I was saying, I was talking to her via Skype the other night. She's first thing she wants me to do. She wants to see the carpet. <laughs> so I'm on the laptop. I angle the laptop down and she sees oh, there's stuff on the floor. So she starts getting on me about not keeping the house clean. <laughs> Just like before. It's funny. And I moved the table and chair sit over there mostly because of the big tree. The limbs that have been falling. I don't want to come home and have shattered glass, destroyed umbrella, trip chairs and all that. That's already happened once and luckily I had a spare glass tabletop. It's not the original one. It doesn't really fit well, but it works. So, yeah, I put everything over here, kind of in the open area, away from any falling branches. But, yeah, so talking to her, she's missing the house, missing her plants, so that's why I'm making this video. Just walking around, show her her plants and all that. Yep. Hopefully sometime next year she'll get to come home and see everything. Just gotta get through this next surgery. So yeah, just gotta get that done before she can even think of coming back because well, I just can't afford it here. You know, it's just the way it is. So far the doctors um you know people have mentioned that before you know hey the doctors you know it's even even family her sister and nieces up here have said you know to try to get her up here but you know they're working they can't watch her 24 7 she's got a lot more family down there and honestly the doctors have the same exact training and technology that we have here in the states and it's a fraction of the cost and after this first surgery which was the riskiest one that convinced me that hey she's in a better place down there so yeah but yeah next surgery is going to be on her left lung she's got to get that done before you know and then recover before she can think about coming back you know get paperwork together for from social security for disability and uh you know stuff like that so to have everything ready for when she does come home and we can get the get all that started so yep yeah it's a lonely place without her here it really is So, yeah, just a quick walk around the yard. Well, not really quick. I've pretty much run up a lot of minutes <laughs> just walking around showing plants. Mostly this is for her, but again, for you guys too. This is her home. Yep. 
And yep, looking forward to her coming back to enjoy it again. So, until next time, adios.